Hi guys, so I'm back from Chicago. I got in last night at like 6. It was a really fun time. I really had a good, good time. It was really hot, but I made it through. I'm not really good in the heat. Like, I usually get trouble breathing and things start to go really bad, but I tried to stay really hydrated and not pass out. And it worked, because I'm, sur I, I'm alive. Anyway, um, I'm back, so I was going to tell you guys some little advice about doing things that you maybe, you know, you want to do which parents won't let you do or stuff like that. So, you know, I always wanted and I always still do want and I've never done it yet, but I always wanted to compete in a pageant or a competition um, and win a title. Um, I feel like you know, people always told me, you know, you're not good enough for this, you're not good enough for that. But, like, now that I'm at this new school, like, I really feel like I am good enough to be the person I can be. And that's something that's kind of was, in my old school, hard for me to believe because people would tell me, no, you're not good or no, you're not good enough because you, you know, you have this going on, you have that going on, like, you're not good enough or, but... I feel like now that I work out a lot and I'm kind of in better shape than I was before, not that I was in bad shape, but I'm more toned and stuff, that I really, really feel like I could be in a com com competition and win and not, you know, feel like someone's going to be like, really? You? Because they realize that my confidence is up and I feel like when you have better, when you have more confidence in yourself, you're able to do these things and, you know, show your parents that you really want to do this. I mean, obviously, if it's something that is appropriate, you can do it. Um, but show them, you know, this is what I really wanted to do. You know, can you at least give me the opportunity to try it? And if you don't like it, at least you tried it. But you always have to try stuff to figure out if you like it or not because if you don't like something then you can say oh wait I tried that and if you didn't try it then you can say wait I never tried that so like me if I tell you guys something like on Fridays fitness Fridays if I tell you guys something to do it's not that I've never tried it before it's that I I have tried it before that's why I'm telling you about it you know it's like someone telling you about a makeup don't listen to them if they've never tried it before. It's like me selling AdvoCare and never, t like, trying it. Or me, you know, selling some sort of product and never trying it myself in order to sell it. I always say, you know, if you're going to sell something, try it first before you sell it. Or if you're going to say something to somebody that you want them to try, make sure you've tried it first before you say, oh, it's really good, you should try it because, you know... But there's always that, you know, just talk to your parents, be honest with them, be like, you know, this is what I always wanted to do, I always wanted to compete, I've always wanted to try it, can you please let me try this? And trying something, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying you're sorry, nothing wrong with trying something, you know, and that's what I always say. If you feel like you've done something wrong, there's no harm in apologizing. Sometimes that person like, what are you apologizing for? You didn't do anything. But sometimes they're like, oh my God, she means it. She really cares. You know, and some of us are very, you know, some of us, it takes us a while to think about what we want to say to the person. You know, you might see that person and be like, oh my God, I have to apologize to them. And then you don't know what to say to them. So you, you leave and you think about it. And you think about how should I apologize to this person so they, they really, truly care and they really see that I mean it. You can always ask someone else for advice. But don't ask someone, you know, don't tell them what you're at. You know, don't tell them the story. Just be like, I have a situation. I, I want to know, you know, do you think, you know, tell them like, oh, you know, I, I got in a fight with someone. And we're not really talking right now. But I don't really know what to say to them. You know, obviously the person say, will say you're sorry, and then you can say, well, how, you know, how do you say you're sorry, you know, how do you, not how do you say you're sorry, but like, like, how do you, you know, say that? So that's, you know, one thing. And then the second thing is don't be afraid to try something. Be like, you know, I never liked broccoli or asparagus, but I tried it and I liked it. 
or I never liked steak and I still don't, but I tried it and it was gross, but I tried it, you know, like, some people don't like ice cream, but then they try their, an ice cream flavor and then they're obsessed with it, so it just depends on the person you are, but don't be afraid to try anything, it's always worth it, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Comment below if you have anything else you want me to talk about, if you want to ask me advice on something. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. Talk to your friends and be like, watch this girl on YouTube. Talk. You know, it's all about word of mouth. I walk around saying I have a YouTube channel, but I don't know how far that gets me. You know, you know, I'm only like, I go to work and I tell them I have a YouTube channel and those people watch it. But that's about it, you know, so... And I only work with, like, a couple people, so how many people can you get to watch you? Dude, <laughs> three. You know, that's not enough. So definitely share this video. Talk to your friends about it. Maybe one of my videos is going to help make a difference to someone else. I don't know. So, you know, and you can always use my advice. Always. But say Maddie said. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on Wednesday with Wellness Wednesday. And I don't really know what I'm going to talk about on Wellness Wednesday. But I'll figure it out, because I always do. <laughs> have a great day. Stay cool. Drink. Stay hydrated. It's hot. So have a good day, and I will see you Wednesday. Bye.